What is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is Face Josh as always and today, welcome to Friday by the way, we're going to start off the weekend with a new video, we're going to do an Instagram Q&A, today I asked you guys to send me some questions on my latest Instagram post, by the way, if I hit 50k by the end of the year on Instagram, we're going to do a massive giveaway, I'm not saying what I'm going to give away, but it's going to be awesome, if you want a chance to win some I don't know what, please go to my Instagram, hit that follow button, and um, let's just get right into the question. The first question comes from Jonas. Hey, <laughs> are Gymshark about to launch the Phantom Seamless in navy blue? Bro, honestly, I don't really know what you're talking about, bro. Uh, sorry, Jonas. I'm not sure when it drops. And if, what's seamless? All right, second question comes from Jesse. Move to the US in the future or stay in the Netherlands? As long as V, Vera, my girlfriend's down, I'm down. If you could go to the gym with any person in the world, who would it be? Cristiano Ronaldo, 100%. Like asking me who I would love to hang out with. Like any person in the world, if I could choose, any person I could hang out with, Cristiano Ronaldo, easy question. Oh, I'm gonna put my head backwards right now. It looks a little bit weird, but um, yeah, my face is a little bit more clear. When I do that, what celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10? <clears throat> my girlfriend. Do you listen to Logic? Yes, I do. Opinions on COD World War II. So I recently, yesterday, well, two days ago, I bought um, World War II on my PlayStation. I played a lot of games. I'm level 20 right now. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I woke up today. I was like, damn, I really want to play COD. I haven't had that in such a long time. So it's kind of refreshing. It was fun. Uh, so I played a little bit this morning. And, and I'm going to probably play a little bit more later. Please give us a detailed update on your work with FaZe and FaZe Fitness. All right, so if you don't know, my role in FaZe as a contracted member is I train the professional teams. So it's like Counter-Strike or Call of Duty or PUBG or Overwatch, whatever the game may be, FaZe has a team in it. Um, and I am in charge of helping these guys get into the gym, think a little bit more about the diet, help them with their diet, and maybe if they have personal goals of losing some weight or gaining some muscle, I can help them uh, with that as well. One of my big things that I really want is to bring back face fitness in the future and i will 100 percent think it will happen but not right now and i'm really really sorry but it will happen and it will be awesome okay ralph next question when is vera gonna prank you hard i really don't want to know i feel like my girlfriend is a really sneaky one sometimes so maybe I, i'm getting pranked soon i don't know imagine if she just gets the camera and just set something up and scares the shit out of me. That would be hilarious, by the way, but I don't see it happening. Happiest moment in your lifting career, apart from getting the call from Gymshark? Um, probably the 100 kilo bench press. I don't know, I, have, I, I guess. What made you want to change your body? All right, that's a good question. Very fair question. One thing that I've been doing recently is replying to every single Instagram DM that I get. And I'm not kidding. Not kidding at all. I've replied in the last two days over 200 people. It's such a big thing, a big task. It takes a lot of time, but it's a lot of fun. And I get a lot of the same questions. And don't get me wrong, I understand you guys asking the questions and I get it. When I was lifting for one, two years, I asked the same question. But the most asked question ever in my DMs on Instagram at Jasper Fitness is what motivates you to keep going to the gym? And to that, I always say the same thing. I've, I've told this before on my channel, I think, but I feel like motivation is emotion. So motivation, emotion. So when you're happy, you feel happy because you feel happy inside. When you're motivated, you motivate yourself from the inside. So if you have a desire to change, if you have a desire to lose weight or look better or whatever the goal may be, it comes from within yourself and then you express it and that creates the motivation and then you actually go and take action. So it's very hard to say what keeps me motivated. It's my desire inside to change or to do better and to be a better version of myself. But if that doesn't really motivate you, you really have to look at yourself in the mirror and think like, okay, is this really, really what I want? If I really want it, then stop being fucking lazy and fucking go. Next question. What's the grossest thing you have ever made yourself eat to stay shredded? 
nothing. That way of thinking is super strange to me and it doesn't really make sense. Eating something to stay shredded sounds controversial in itself. It's about what you eat. It's like not about what you eat always. Um, it's about calories. So uh, if you want to stay shredded or stay lean, you eat a certain amount of calories or you do a certain amount of cardio with that. Whatever, it's like a calculated thing. It's not like I eat something really gross and it makes me shred it. So that doesn't make really sense. So uh, what's the grossest thing? N nothing. Have you ever considered trying boxing? Yes. Back in it when I was young, like six, seven, eight, I always wanted to go do boxing, but my parents wouldn't let me because it's dangerous. And but I don't know. They just wouldn't let me. And I mean, I'm thinking over here. I'm like, you have such a talented, Fast, agile, athletic, young Floyd Mayweather in your household can make you millions of dollars and you won't let me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I feel like I would be pretty good at boxing since I'm really small, I'm really fast. But I don't know. Uh, maybe I suck, but I never tried it. So I don't know. Maybe I'm the next Floyd Mayweather. Maybe not. I don't know. We can never fucking find out. What supplements do you, do you use and which ones do you think is worth buying? The only thing I use is a protein powder and creatine. That's the only thing I use. Um, I would say is the only thing that really makes sense buying. Maybe a pre-workout, I like that too, but that's... I feel like you don't need a pre-workout at all, but it's like if you want that extra boost, you can spend the money on it. It's definitely not necessary. So, uh, worth buying, I would say a creatine monohydrate and a protein powder is worth buying. Uh, just for convenience sake, it's definitely worth buying. Are you gonna meet your girlfriend's parents? And if you do, you should record it because I wanna see the awkwardness. So first of all, we've been dating officially today uh, for five months. Uh, we've been seeing each other for 10. So officially for five, I think. And unofficially for 10. I already met her parents like long time ago. It wasn't awkward at all. It was like really nice. Her parents are really sweet. Um, so no awkwardness, no rewarding. That's kind of strange. Next question, how to overcome bad genetics? Um, uh, it's another question that's kind of like doesn't make sense. Genetics, you cannot really change it or overcome your genetics. You cannot really do anything about it. The only thing you really can do is work as hard as you can. So you look as good as you can genetically. And my ears look like, oh, I'm such a nerd, bro. Do you watch the professor? Funny story, uh, when I was in LA a couple weeks ago, I actually met him in a bar, which was really, really funny. Uh, we were at Huntington Beach at some bar. I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. But he was just sitting there chilling with some friends and we were with the face guys and so we walked up to him and we were like, yo, what's up? We love your videos, we love your stuff, you know, face clan, blah, blah, blah. Had a little conversation with him and um, then he went his way and we went home. But um, one of my favorite YouTubers, so I was really dope to see him and to meet him finally. Can you trick shot? Yes, I can trick shot. I don't actually, I was pretty nasty on MW2 back in the day, not gonna lie. All right, Robin, last question is yours. If you were doing what you do now, what else would you be doing? I don't even know. It's like the last question. I don't even know the answer because I don't. Uh, I kind of started doing this because I didn't know what to do and this came up. So I kind of grabbed by the balls and went with it. So I can't really tell. I, I would probably be in school in some learning some stuff that I really don't care about. Um, or maybe have my own business. Like I would always do like an entrepreneur type road. I would like always like kind of do something for myself. That's a hard question, guys. That's very hard. So we're gonna end on there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If we hit 50k followers on Instagram, we're gonna do a lot of giveaway stuff. Of stuff, I don't really know what I'm gonna give away, but it's gonna be awesome. Go to my Instagram, follow it. Make sure we get 50k before the end of the year. Easy money. Only got 200 left. So leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. And see you guys later. Do it.